putting uh, interesting. I'm, I'm gonna make a box and uh, and then I'm gonna make a sphere. I put the sphere in the center of the box. Okay, the radius of sphere is uh, smaller than the box, so it fits inside, right? And then I go to the inner about the this green uh, compound object, and I choose it, and then I pick open, and then I subtract the sphere uh, from the from the box. Well, now what we have is a compound object that has the sphere inside and that the sphere is hidden but it's still I can choose it and I can move it. Uh, sorry, this is the box. Sphere is here. Did you know that? Okay, now you know that. Uh, well, since this is kind of parametric so I, I can maybe do something with it. Let's see. I'm gonna array this using parametric array. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll choose copy. Well, it takes time because it's a boolean and then you have to do all of it one by one. But uh, here we go. Oh, we make... Uh, table just like we did before and let me see if I can find the sphere thing. We should be under this object and I have wow oh, I can see it here it's a sphere 001 and uh, all right I can still change the radius that sounds interesting but I, I don't want to do that uh, I'm going to make uh, under this transform. There's a position. There's there's a z value, right? Let's see if I move this to ten. What what happens? I'll try eight. C can you guess what's happening? You know, that, that thing I just did, I can control with this value. So, it's pretty amazing because I can now put something and then control it by another controller. Let's say the magnet. Well, uh, I should be aware of, you know, the, the range. So if it goes more than 8, probably it goes out of the box and it doesn't cut the box. But 0 is okay, 0 is already in the center. Uh, so it's something between 0 and 8. And uh, well, I need a, a magnet. Magnet shouldn't be always a sphere, you know, it can be a point. Uh, let's go to standard and then I choose point, uh, I make a point and then we in we check the, we pick the point object, now the point is here. Well, the settings for the magnet, uh, I explained I think a few of them, but I will explain again. This is the field setting, it means that if you go um, far from the magnet point with 100, uh, 100 units, whatever the unit is, you will get this value, zero. And if, it's, if you are zero units away from the magnet, you get the one. So this value should be the uh, my range of uh, zero eight. So I will say probably eight here and then update. I don't know if you can see the when I move it and then I update the array. I can see the, uh, the items are closer to this magnet point. The value is 8 almost. So because the value is 8, the sphere goes 8 units up. So it doesn't, it cuts less, less than before. 
When it goes far, it goes to zero and it cuts more. That's simple logic. Uh, and it's also nice. Uh, we can uh, imagine this on the surface. And it could be, uh, I did a sphere, it can be anything. 